In this lesson, we're going to follow the pathways that show how glucose is broken apart by a cell and used to provide energy for cell activities. So we're going to follow the pieces of the glucose molecule as it goes through the pathways. And I think as we color code this and follow the molecules, it'll make more sense to you. So we're going to pick a color to stand for the carbons in glucose. And I'm going to label these six circles with little c, c for carbon. Remember, the formula for glucose is C6H12O6. There's six carbon atoms in a glucose. Uh, also, there's oxygen and hydrogen atoms in a glucose, but those are attached to this carbon framework. So we're going to just follow the carbons, and the hydrogen and oxygens will travel along with it. This first part of the pathway, we're going to take a six-carbon glucose molecule and split it in half to make two three-carbon molecules. So the carbons that start in glucose are going to end up here in two molecules that have three carbons each called pyruvic acid. You may also see this word, pyruvate. For our purposes, those two words mean the same thing. So we're going to split our glucose in half, split the sweet. That's what glycolysis means. Glycose means sweet. Lysis means to split or break. Remember, we had lysosomes. So glycolysis is the process of going from glucose to pyruvic acid. Glycolysis is this pathway. And it happens in the cytoplasm of a cell. So we're going to see how this works. There's actually multiple steps that happen, but we're going to kind of look at what's going in and what's coming out. And in order for this to happen, we're going to need a little energy to kickstart the reaction and get it going. Remember we talked about activation energy. So we're going to put a little energy in, and it's going to come from this power molecule. We've talked about ATP before. It's kind of like our rechargeable cell phone battery. And to make this reaction go, we're going to add two ATPs. That's going to provide our starting power to get this going. That seems a little silly to put in ATP when we're trying to get energy back out of the glucose, but you're going to see in a minute that we're going to get way more back than we put in at the beginning. So if I take ATP and lose the P to provide the power, I'm going to get ADP. Two of those. Two ATPs in. I get two ADPs out. Once that gets the reaction going, you're going to see that well, as I split my glucose apart, that's going to provide the power to make some ATP. So I put two in, but I'm going to get four ATPs back. And I'm going to give it a little power, because this is an energy molecule. And so four ADPs, and I add the Ps, I get or ATPs. I'm also going to use some of that power to charge up one of my other energy molecules, and that is a molecule called NAD+. I'm going to charge up NAD+, and I'm going to take two of those, and when it gets charged up, it's an electron carrier. It's going to add a hydrogen and some electrons, and I get NADH, two of them. I'm going to give this one a little extra energy, too, because these are high-energy electron carriers. So notice now I put in two ATPs, but I got four back, plus two NADHs. Those are energy molecules, and that's a pretty good deal. I doubled my ATP. I put in two, but I got back four. If I said, give me $2 and I'll give you four back, I bet you'd go for that deal. That's a pretty good exchange. And that's what the cell does too. It puts in a little ATP to get it going, but it makes four back in the long run. Now I have two pyruvic acid molecules. And the cell has a choice. If I have oxygen available, we're going to go one direction. And we're going to talk about that in the next slideshow. But if there's no oxygen available, no oxygen, or if there is low oxygen, we're going to follow this pathway. And cells are going to do something called fermentation. And there's two kinds of fermentation depending on the cell. Some kinds of cells do one kind called lactic acid. 
They make a molecule called lactic acid from the pyruvic acid. Some kinds of cells do alcoholic fermentation. Both of these are ways that allow the cell to keep doing glycolysis. And what do we need to do glycolysis? We need some NAD plus carriers to pick up those electrons. So as I'm going through fermentation, one of the products that gets uh, released when pyruvic acid is turned into lactic acid or into al alcohol is NAD+. I'm going to color code that. Remember I use blue up here, so I'm going to keep my blue going. NAD+. That NAD plus carrier is regenerated. And that's why cells follow this step in the pathway. It's not that they want the alcohol. It's not that they want the lactic acid. It's that they want, um, the cells need those NAD plus carriers to feed back into the pathway and allow the cell to keep doing glycolysis for energy. I hope that helps and stay tuned for the next slideshow.